As the chairman of this committee, I've had the opportunity, as most of us have, to travel around the world and see the importance of wildlife conservation first, firsthand. I've also watched international criminal organizations devastate communities for their own gain. China, specifically, is one of the world's largest markets for illegal wildlife trafficking. Criminal gangs slaughter rhinos for their horns, leopards for their pelts, and turtles for their meat. They sell these products in China, Chinese black markets, often with the full support of the Chinese Communist Party. And they use the profits to fund human trafficking, illegal drug trade, and other malign activities. This bill enhances environmental protection and builds on my work in conservation. The bill also pushes back against the CCP's malign influence and international criminal elements. I was a co-author of the Bipartisan Plastics Act, which removed plastic from our oceans that's devastating to our marine life. And that's why I'm proud to be the author of this bill, the Foundation for International Conservation Act. This is a bipartisan bill uh, with bicameral support that I think most interestingly harvests the power of private philanthropy in a two to one ratio of private to public spending. Never in my career, 20 years, have I had 10 billionaires come to me and say, sir, we want to put our money uh, to work with the USG on such an important cause. And I have strongly advocated and believe there will be a $100 million offset in appropriations language. Uh, so that would mean upon enactment, there would be no new cost to the taxpayers. Some of the bill's uh, top priorities include conservation of endangered species in Africa, marine life in places such as the Galapagos and, and beyond, and the rainforest, the lungs of our planet, in the Congo, Indonesia, and Amazon. This legislation has received tremendous support from sportsmen's groups like Ducks Unlimited and the Houston Safari Club to conservationists like the World Wildlife Fund and Nature uh, Conservancy. However, this foundation is more than leveraging the power of private contributions. It is a diplomatic investment in the U.S. foreign policy toolkit that none of our adversaries can replicate. Russia and China benefit from instability. Putin profits on the gold and minerals they mine, while native forests from Siberia to the Solomon Islands are being exploited to feed Chinese timber markets. This bill would counter the growing CCP influence in these regions. Wildlife trafficking is a criminal enterprise that often emanates from China with tacit approval from the CCP. In dollar value, illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing costs the global economy as much as $23 billion per year. This legislation will fight the CCP's environmental destruction, bring stability to local communities, and conserve wildlife, forests, and fisheries. Conservation has a critical role in protecting sensitive ecosystems in our environment. And it's been championed by Republicans for over a century, all the way back to Teddy Roosevelt. So I'm pleased to see that we have this bipartisan support on this critical measure, and I yield back the balance of my time.